All right, we're in Boston on our way to get assessed by Eric Cressy, expert in shoulders, get my shoulder and my knee looked at. Coaches learning from coaches. They're going to Cressy Performance right now to do the assessment. I'm actually pretty excited about this because this thing's been a long time coming. Why is it important for a coach to get coached? Because if you don't, if you don't have your own coach, then you don't believe in coaching. Like, why is it important to get coaching if you're if you're already a coach? Well, if you don't have your own coach, then you don't believe in your product. I believe in coaching. I get coaches. You ready? Yeah. All right, well, give me all you need there. Uh, originally, I was like curious about my shoulder. That's, that's right shoulder, just to confirm. Yeah. I was trying to show one of our kids. I had his friend the other day. I had been sitting around for like three hours, and I just like called off. Yeah. Um, where, where's your discomfort? If I pick it up like this, mm -hmm. okay. If I point, like that hurts. Okay. You ran through an airport safely, right? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like I can yeah. jog. Yeah. But like when I want to just go ahead and like scrunch on, it just doesn't. Okay. Like I can even I can even do pounding. Okay. That's, that's, that's where it gets interesting. All right, so the history of the shoulder, how long has that been around? I dislocated it this way, cracked the growth plate in 99 in a wrestling match. And I did the AC, yeah, I think it was a one, and then I did that again in college. Okay. Uh, and then I also pitched in college. I told me I'm pretty good. Okay. Our uh, string conditioning was barbell bench and chin-ups. Okay. That's <laughs> it. Any numbers are tingling uh, down in that arm? Yeah, I get some in my neck. Like, if I turn my neck to the right, sometimes I mean my whole body just about I mean, I almost dropped. No, <laughs> it's not yeah. a good thing. All right, uh, what about other aches and pains? Low back, hips? I my hip. I ruptured the, uh, a ligament on the inside of my foot. You should be on your feet all day. Long. Yeah. It's kind of the walking wounded. You get a little bit. Yeah, but on. it's all, it's weird. It's all on my right side. You're, you're a big dude. What are you? I'm 240 right now. 240. And how old are you? 33. So you're at that age where you can do all the dumb stuff you just do. You just can't bounce back from it. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. I know. That I can only do it like. Um, what things are there in your daily life? want to be able to do that you can't do. Um, I'm a little concerned with the longevity of my shoulder. Yeah. Does it bother you much in activities of daily living? Like if I sleep on my right side, the next day it's going to be a little funky. Yeah, what I think we, we look at in, in a scenario like this is when you have a, a lot of boxes checked on a health history. Let's try to see what, what movement trends kind of may unify this, yeah. and then we'll kind of play accordingly. Well, I should get you know, some training in obviously today as well, and hopefully make most of your visits, so. At some point I need to stop eating. Like crossing the line between tough and stupid. <laughs> Uh, when you find when you find out what that line is, let me know because yeah. I'm the same way. No shit. Um, let's have you stand up. We're gonna start with some posture screens in here. Okay. So you know what's interesting? You got a little bit of elbow hyperextension. So there's a little bit of deep root yeah. of axis. Yeah. What made you a pretty good pitcher? You got some pliability through the fingers yeah. as well. We're gonna start with your neck and work around. I know you said you get some discomfort when you go to the right. So mm -hmm. when we check it, that. it's pretty rare. Like okay. when it, like when it grabs me, you'll never oh. I'll buckle. Pinching or stretching anything like that? No. Okay. Good. Again, I, I actually think you're a little bit in a closet hypermobile. <laughs> That's how it was when I was a kid. Yeah, you can, right. you can still see a lot of it. I mean, especially if you think about it, you're, you're a big dude, you carry a bunch of muscle mass and you stand your feet all day. You should have stiff hips. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else would. See what you're working with. And obviously, that flares up the knee at all, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not good, man. It's that last thing you're showing off. <laughs> so when we were in the office, there were a couple things that we saw. First thing, you have a very kind of like 
straight up and down on the back. It's not the most extreme I've ever seen the group to free flat through your dress, it's fine. Not uncommon given your baseball background and even beyond baseball. Like you've really been involved heavily in extension and rotation sports. Hey, can I borrow you for a second? Yeah, hop on up. Alright. Hop the table. Guys, this is Kyle. Kyle hey, plays Kyle. baseball. Um, <laughs> Sit your butt right back to your heels. Uh, forearms on the table screen and then right hand behind your back. You rotate up and try to show your right nipple to the ceiling. That's what a flat thoracic spine does. So he's right. like 80 to 85 degrees. And what's even more interesting is if you relax now, I can take him and get him to like almost 90. I didn't even get close to the next one. No, so here, not even close. Well, that's like his left side. I makes the video even better. Just a Kyle Wilcox standing <laughs> out in the middle. You got Mariners fan? When you have someone who's really flat through their upper back, you're almost always expecting from a joint standpoint to have really good thoracic rotation. Think about someone who's really kind of broad, hey, you know, grandma and grandpa don't, don't usually rotate real well through the other people That's fine. So when I look at yours, and you don't budge passively, and you even make comment, you're like, I'm cramping. Yeah. So to me, that's tissue extensibility. So I think for you, figure out why we have a passive limitation. And then a little bit of an anterior tilt. Um, that, when you do your external rotation test, you do your push-ups, you kind of, you like to go to anterior tilt and not reverse. When you see guys in neutral and he goes and does this test, maybe you should be supposed to tilt and it goes with that extra rotation. You can kind of just stay locked there. So um, I'm going to take you through a couple quick tests just to see how you kind of rest that one out. Good. Um, up straight, calm down. Calm down. The Ryan steps. Yeah, right. Right. That's, right. That's, right. that's, right. that's a classic piece. So if you look at AC joint tests, usually horizontal adduction. Yeah. I think we'll kind of work right there. Did that get you? Yeah. yeah. You, you definitely have an AC point. And the front of your lateral raise is going to be really good. Uh, you a guy who's 6'4", 240. There's no way he's gummy. I'm like, you can absolutely be gummy at a huge yeah. body weight. So you just have to manage him differently. Everything's that you need to stretch, stretch, stretch. And then you're on basic stuff that you can stretch. Yeah. But I think, you know, positional breathing, some manual therapy in the right place. I'm going to list you as right-handed pitcher slash gym owner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm asking you, if you were in a car, would you just go 100 miles an hour, or would you try to go like 20, 30, 40, 50? Yeah, yeah. That's not a good answer. I want you to think about slowly building it. Oh, okay. Up. Yeah, how's that feel? What would you learn about your shoulders? Maybe just another perspective or understanding. Yeah, I didn't realize. I would have said that I was pretty open through my thoracic, that I was a little close, but not You too could bad. definitely tell a difference between you and that guy, like the one you had yeah, your arm behind your back. Yeah, like twice as far. Oh my god, at Do least. Do you realize who he is? No. Oh. He's a professional baseball player. He's good. <laughs> he went a lot further than you. <laughs> but that's what he said. Like he's like that's weird because most people that are like me and that are really relaxed like open up as well. So. I didn't tell him like how much like upper body work or, like how much rowing or whatever. Yeah. Like, you've um, worked on it. But that makes a lot of sense for like all the problems that I've had in the past. Right, like, and even in I'm like track. Six foot and I'm six four. So they're bound to just be these like gargantuans. Pterodactyls. You don't like gargantuans? No. You don't mind pterodactyl though, do you when I call it? I don't care. <laughs> 
This Even is... ape would be better. Ape? Because <laughs> they have no. long arms. <laughs> Their knuckles are scraping against the floors. <laughs> They're hairy. <laughs> okay, maybe not. How is it? Delicious. Show them what it is. I didn't realize. I already saw you. 